we take the five precepts every Sunday to remind ourselves. These are basic teachings in the Buddha, the basis for all skillful qualities in terms of your body and your speech and in training the intentions of the mind. Start with, with virtue. We learn this and we try to remember this. this is one of the reasons we do it every week is so that it really gets ingrained in your mind. The teachings that you're able to remember, those are the ones that are really going to help you. This is why we practice mindfulness. Not only so that we can be aware of what's going on in the present moment, but also we can remember what have we learned from the past that's been really useful, so we can bring it to bear right now. Because otherwise, the teachings of the Buddha there are like oil on water. They just slither off and they're, they're, they're gone. Then we don't get much use out of them. We hear them and they go one in here and out the other. You want to make sure they leave something inside your mind as they come in. This is why in the old days they actually memorized the talks that the Buddha gave while he was giving them. Can you imagine that? Most of us we let the words just go over and go over and go over and we figure out, well, we can listen to them again sometime on a recording if we want to. But then when the real events in life come, you not, may not have the recording there with you, and then you forget. This is why the Buddha said that one of the forms of a blessing is when you have studied things well, when you have lots of truths that you have memorized. Bahusa chancha is the Pali term. And then you have skills that you've also learned, not only things you've kept in mind, but skills that you've learned in how to live your life properly. And then you train yourself in line with whatever has to be obeyed in terms of the Dharma. That's having a, being well trained in the Vinaya. The lay people, of course, this means the five precepts. And you really take them seriously. You hold on to them. And you try to remember them every day, every day. And then you add on to that knowledge as best you can. Because we fill our minds with so much garbage, especially now that we have phones that we can carry around with us iPads we can carry around, you have screens with you that are talking at you all the time. You have hardly any time to think for yourself and to figure out, well, what's worth holding on to? We figure out, if I need some information, all I have to do is press on the screen and the information comes up, and so our memory gets deteriorated. Think about it. In the old days, they used to be able to memorize the whole Pali canon. People developed their memory to that extent which meant that they would have what they needed at their fingertips in terms of knowledge for how to deal with problems at home, problems in, in work, problems in, in your meditation. So it's good to have a fund of knowledge and then try to live by it. That way your knowledge becomes a blessing to you. It's not just a decoration for your ears. It actually helps you when you need it. Because there will come times when your emotions are running strong. And it's good to remember you're a person with the precepts. There are times when you might be tempted to steal, tempted to kill, tempted to lie about something. You say, no, I can't do that. You approach the present moment with those principles in mind. And that filters out a lot of garbage that you otherwise can be doing, and a lot of harm you can be doing to yourself and to others. Because it's so easy for your greed, aversion, and delusion to come in and give their reasons for why you should break the precepts. But if you're determined, no, I'm not going to break them at all, under any circumstances. That's your protection. That's your blessing. That's how you bless yourself, protect yourself, to having principles that you hold on to. So learn good principles. And the word for being learned in Pali, Bahusancha, literally means lots of truths. Try to gather up as many truths as you can, the kinds of truths that you can apply that tell you what's right, what's wrong, what's skillful, and what's not skillful. Because as the Buddha said, if you don't know what's skillful or unskillful in any situation, you're left unprotected. But here you are, giving yourself protection by learning things and then doing your best to remember them and bringing them to bear on your actions. When you do that, you bless yourself. You don't need to listen to a monk's blessing on just, just on one day out of the week. You bless yourself every time you choose to act in a skillful way based on what you've learned. So take some time to read the Dharma, memorize the good points, the important points. Listen to the Dharma, memorize the important points. And that way you have a fund of knowledge that acts as your protection. <laughs>